Welcome back to Digital Switching System Virtual Class. Today, we will cover the topic Crossfire Systems, Basics of Crossfire Systems. Switches require maintenance, cleaning, lubrication and cords do wear out. These disadvantages led to new forms of switch. One idea was to replace the manually operated switch by a matrix of telephone relays, with their contacts multiplied together horizontally and vertically as shown in figure. Since a switch with N inlets and N outlets requires N square relays for its cross points, this was uneconomic for larger exchanges. A more economical solution was provided by the invention of the crossbar switch by G. A. Bechelander in 1917, Crossbar Systems. The crossbar switch retains a set of contacts at each cross point, but these are operated through horizontal and vertical bars by magnets at the sides of the switch. Thus, a switch with N inlets and N outlets only needs two N operating magnets and armatures instead of N square. The magnets which operate the horizontal bars are called select magnets and those operating the vertical bars are called hold magnets or bridge magnets. The mechanism of a crossbar switch is shown in figure. Operation of a select magnet tilts one of the horizontal bars up or down. This causes flexible fingers to engage with the contact assemblies of one row of cross points and provides the link which was missing from their operating mechanisms. One of the bridge magnets is then operated and this closes the contacts of the cross point at the coordinates corresponding to the horizontal and vertical magnets. The select magnet is then released but the finger remains trapped and the cross point contacts remain closed for as long as the bridge magnet is energized. Current flows in this magnet for as long as the P wire is at earth potential. This persists until a clear signal causes the earth to be removed at the end of a call. Stroger selectors perform counting and searching. However, the crossbar switch has no intelligence. Something external to the switch must decide which magnets to operate. This is called a marker. Since it takes less than a second to operate the switch, a marker can control many switches and serve many registers as shown in figure. Thus, even a large exchange needs few markers. This is a further stage of common control, which we call centralized control. A crossbar switch can make many connections as it has vertical bars at a time. It is a group of uniselectors instead of a single two motion selector. For example, a switch of size 10 by 10 can make up to 10 simultaneous connections between 10 incoming trunks and 10 outgoing trunks. In order to produce larger switches, a two stage link system of primary and secondary switches is used as shown in figure below and this is called link frames. The figure shows 20 switches of size 10 by 10 used to interconnect 100 incoming trunks to 100 outgoing trunks. There is one link from each primary switch to each secondary switch and these links are arranged systematically. The number of an outlet on a primary switch corresponds to the number of the secondary switch to which its links goes and the number of an inlet on a secondary switch corresponds to the number of the primary switch from which its link comes. Example link 23 connects outlet 3 of the primary switch 2 to inlet 2 of the secondary switch 3. A concentrator can be constructed by multiplying together the horizontals of a number of primary switches, as shown in figure below. This shows a network with 500 incoming trunks and 100 outgoing trunks using switches of size 10 by 10. An expander would, instead, have a number of secondary switches multiplied together. A large crossbar exchange needs several markers in order to handle its traffic and this introduces a complication. Here it is essential to prevent two or more markers from attempting to set up connection in the same link frame at the same time. To overcome this marker in a crossbar system is using the quite complex lockout circuits. To obtain larger network, four stages can be used. 
The figure shows a four-stage network, constructed from 400 switches of size 10 by 10 to serve 1,000 incoming and outgoing drunks.